obvious thing is, is the shape of the cars. They look, as you say, more aggressive. The front and rear wings have been changed. And I understand there's a lot of change on the floor as well. And is that the idea there to generate a lot more downforce to, to make the cars faster? Yes, of course. There's lots of, uh, there are lots of things, that are too many to, to mention here really, but the visible, one of the briefs was to make the cars look uh, more appealing. And I think, I think that's been achieved. Um, they need to look good, but they had to generate quite a lot more downforce to be faster and to overcome the drag from the bigger wheels and tyres. So there are many, many things. The visible ones are obviously the front and rear wings, lots of bodywork around the um, leading edges of the side post, the diffusers are bigger, wider, you know, you name it, it's been done. When I went to look at the cars in testing in Barcelona, I was shocked at, first of all, how wide they are, back, back to the days of yes. the Nigel Mansell sort of cars, yeah. the two metre wide cars. Um, we'll come on to talk about overtaking and what that means in a minute, but those front wings are enormous. I suspect we'll lose quite a lot of them in uh, close combat. You might be Probably, needing to trigger yes, that safety yes, car yeah. quite a bit in 2017. Not as you? wide as they have been, so we've only gone back to where we were, I think, about 15 years ago. The, the other obvious thing, Charlie, is the, is the tyres, isn't it? I mean, they're, they're, they're wider, I think 8 centimetres on the rears each tyre and 6 centimetres yes. on the front one. But it's basically, I, just, I guess, just about grip, right? It's, it was part of the package. It was part of the lap improvement, lap time improvement package. We wanted about 1.5 seconds from the tyres, and I think we've got that. It's a little difficult to tell what the split is at the moment, but uh, the drivers appear to be quite happy with the tyres, so that's a good sign, because they were overheating quite a lot. And, I think one of the critical things last year was that if a driver overheated the tyres, lost a bit of grip, he couldn't get it back. Uh, and I think early indications are that that has been one of the goals set, and we have, uh, or Pirelli, I should say, have achieved that goal.